Hi, friends. Okay, um, today I want to address something that I think that we need to understand about, you know, all that's going on in the world. Um, hmm. I need for you to know that that any time that we sin, it comes with a, a curse. Uh, I know this last election or whatever, I don't know. There's been several times when things go over the social media and they go, oh, all these witches are coming together and they're all going to curse our president and we need to pray and all of that stuff and stuff. So, um, you know, I think that people know that curses are real. And let me tell you what Webster defines a curse as. Okay, it says to call upon a divine or supernatural power to send injury upon a person. Um, I need for you to know that this is very real. Curses are real and blessings are real. And so um, I want to deal with the, first of all, the, the curses. God says that um, it's in Proverbs 26 too. He says that no undeserved curse will stand. So that's crazy. Only God is the one who gives curses and his curses will stand. If somebody wants to curse someone who he has not cursed, it will not happen. When you look in, um, what is it? Numbers 22 and 23, it's a story of uh, Balaam and, and this guy, Balak, comes to Balaam and says, I want you to curse Israel. And so anyway, in this prophet, he wants the money and he wants the prestige. So he wants to curse Israel, but the Lord won't let him. He said, he said, um, you know, how can you curse what I bless? So I need for you to understand that all curses come from God. All blessings come from God. Um, but there's some things that you need to understand from the moment that man sinned. When you go to Genesis 3, uh, from the moment that man sinned, curse fell upon the ground for man's sake. He has to work hard all the days of his life now because the ground is cursed. The, the, uh, the snake was cursed above all animals. The, do you know, it's just the curse fell. Go to Genesis 3 and you can, you can tell that. Um, today, what happened was I went in and I just put in Bible Gateway and I put curse. Oh my goodness, I went all the way down all the curses. <laughs> so anyway, now I'm going to address the curses. But first of all, I want you to know from uh, Deuteronomy 28, what it says. It's like, if you will fully obey the Lord your God and carefully keep all his commands that I am giving you today, the Lord will set you up high above all the nations of the world and you will experience all these blessings. If you obey the Lord your God, blessings come with obedience, okay? Your towns and your fields will be blessed. Your children and your crops will be blessed. The offspring of your herds and flocks will be blessed. Your fruit baskets and breadboards will be blessed. Wherever you go and whatever you do, you will be blessed. The Lord will conquer your enemies when they attack you, the Lord will guarantee a blessing upon everything you do and will fill your storehouses with grain. The Lord will establish you as his holy people as he swore he would do. And the Lord will send rain at the proper time from his rich treasury in the heavens and will bless the work you do. You will lend to many nations, but you will never need to borrow from them. The Lord will make you the head and not the tail, and you will always be on top and never on bottom. That's if we obey, okay? So if we don't obey, um, there's the opposite. And this is bringing a supernatural harm onto others. But this is, these are the curses that are going to fall on disobedience. If you refuse to listen to the Lord your God and do not obey all the commands and decrees I am giving you today, all these curses will come up, will come and overwhelm you. Your towns and your fields will be cursed. Your fruit baskets and bread boards will be cursed. Your children and your crops will be cursed. The offspring of your herds and flocks will be cursed. And wherever you go and whatever you do, you will be cursed. Um, the Lord himself will send on you the curses, confusion and frustration and everything you do until at last you are completely destroyed for doing 
uh, evil and abandoning me. The Lord will inflict you with diseases. The Lord will strike you with wasting diseases, fever and inflammation, with scorching heat and drought, with blight and mildew. The diseases will pursue you until you die. The Lord will cause you to be defeated by your enemies. The Lord will inflict you with the boils of Egypt, and with tum tumors and scurvy and itch from which you cannot be cured. The Lord will strike you with madness and blindness and panic. You will be oppressed and robbed continually and no one will come to save you. That's not all of them. I just need for you to know that um, curses are real and blessings are real. And that if we will take this seriously, that, um, that we can go in and overturn the curses so that we can experience the blessings, okay? Um, I need for you to look at your own life. Look at your family. Look at your parents. Look at your children. Look at your uh, bank account. Look at your everything that you touch, your job, your psh, 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 whatever. Okay, now if you were going to describe what is going on in your life, would you say that it's blessed or that it's cursed? because you can tell, you can tell what's going on, okay? So, um, but, but listen to what it says in Deuteronomy 30. It's kind of crazy. It says, in the future, when you experience all these blessings and cursings, which I've listed for you, and when you're living among the nations to which the Lord your God has exiled you, take to heart all these instructions. If at that time you and your children turn to the Lord your God, and if you obey with all, all of your heart and all of your soul, all the commands I've given you today, the Lord your God will restore your fortunes. Okay, that's good news. And that's what this, this whole website is about, is to break the curses, to go in and put under the blood, because now we've got a very real advocate, Jesus Christ, our Savior, who has gone before us and prepared the way so that he he became a curse for us. He broke the curse. Okay, that's a good thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to put one by one when I went in there and I put curse and I put in all the places that we are cursed. I'm going to do it one by one. I want you to go through them and if you have any of these in if you've ever done any of it, I want you to put it under the blood say God, I'm guilty and I'm sorry. Would you forgive me? And you let God come in and restore your fortunes because that's what he wants to do. He wants to break the curse. He wants to bring blessings instead. That's his whole goal is to bless and not curse. And so, guys, um, I, this is very real stuff. And you can see it when you look out. There's desolations of many generations. You can see it. You can feel it. You can taste it. You can touch it. <laughs> Okay, and that's by design because now the Lord has come to heal. He's come to save and to deliver and to restore. That's what he's come to do. So what I want you to do right now is to um, let God heal you. Turn your face like water towards him. Turn your heart. I don't guess you turn your face like water. But anyway, turn your heart. Um let him examine you. If you see that you're not where you want to be, then there's something there that he needs to heal. And he's come to do it. He's good like that. So now let's go in and break the curses. Okay? It's very real and it's very possible. In Jesus' name.